What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at a pair of Nike Airships. Um, this is the Doom Red colorway. Um, I picked these shoes up a couple weeks ago and I'm just not getting around to doing a video and I actually did do a YouTube short. But in my opinion, this shoe deserves a quick video, if anything. And also keep an eye out for my other review of the Air Jordan 4 SBs. I'm not sure which video I'm gonna put up first. It probably will be the SB4, so um, if you've seen this video, there should be a review of the Jordan SB4s already up. If not, um, that means we put this video up first, and this uh, shoe will be coming shortly after that, so stay tuned to the channel for that. But let's go ahead and get into these Nike Airships. Like I said, I, I did pick these up um, I think they actually released May 10th, so it's been a couple weeks, but let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, taking a quick look at the box, very dope box. It does have like this gradient um, flow to it. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera, but it does come from like a, a very light sail colorway to dark. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera. Taking a look at the size and tag, it reads Jordan Airship PESP, colorway is Summit. White, doom red. And we did pick this up in a size 12. And these do retail for $140. I picked these up off of um, Bodega. They did a um, first come, first serve. So I was able to um, secure this pair off of Bodega. I did go for the, um, the white and um, I think they call it the fusion blue pair. Um, it's close to Nigel Sylvester's. Um, I did try to pick that one up, but I didn't. I wasn't able to uh, grab that pair. And it seems like that Diffusion Blue pair is holding this uh, resale value above $200 uh, for the size 12. So it's kind of holding its value versus just doing red. It's, um, you can find these well under this uh, $140 retail price on resale market. I think the Lowest I found them was like $110. So that's crazy. Because I do actually think, in my opinion, this colorway is the best. Quick look under the lid. You have your stamp code. It also comes with this Airship pamphlet book. Um, it just has like details of the shoe, all the statistics of it. And this is my second pair. I have the orange Airships. And it's a very comfortable shoe. And I'll tell you why once you get into this shoe. Have your standard white paper in Quick look at the shoe. And here you have it, guys. The Nike Airship PE. Every game doing red. Give you a 360 look at the shoe. And we're going to jump into the details of it. Love the outsole. All right, guys, like I was saying, um, this is the second colorway of the two. The other one is the Diffusion Blue. I'll try to put a picture up here in the corner just to give you reference, but I'm pretty sure you know what it is. Um, but it's basically the reverse of this shoe. On the Diffusion Blue, where you see uh, the suede material is reversed. It's on the ankle collar. And on that blue pair, you have a cracked leather material that's on the actual lower parts of the shoe so basically it's reversed um, getting into this shoe let's start from the top to the bottom you have your standard neoprene sock liner that's in that doom red and it's decently padded nice bounce back to the cushion in it and what i mean by bounce back is just um, you know the response of the cushion in it it's very nice and tight. Taking a quick look at the tongue, you do have like that vintage um, tongue. And basically what that is, is actual, um, the foaming underneath the tongue is just pushing through um, the nylon tongue, giving it that vintage uh, off-white look to it. And at the top of the tongue, you do have that um, Nike Air tab, and it is in that doom red. Nylon mesh tongue. Shoe comes pre-laced with your doing red laces. 
give you a quick look at that toe box. The interior used on it. And as I was stating earlier, um, with the blue pair, these are basically the reverse. And on this pair, you do have the cracked leather materials um, used similar to like the lost and founds. And that material is used on the full ankle collar area. And also on your eyelet section. And also on your Nike swoosh. As you can see, at the red shoe, you have every game embroidered into the red uh, ankle collar area. And I'm pretty sure most of you probably know what every game stands for, but I'll just say it real quick on the blue pair. Um, it's basically referencing um, Michael Jordan. He used to wear his UNC uh, practice shorts underneath his Chicago Bulls shorts every game. That's what the theme of the shoe comes from. I'm taking a look at the side panels of the shoe. Again, it is um, a suede material, new book. Very short hair new book. It's not as hairy as the blue pair. Um, and also in person, I will say this is kind of like a light gray. I will say it's pretty similar to the Jordan 1 I'm on one year. Um, that texture suede on it. Um, I think it's probably actually the same color as it. And speaking of the I'm on one year, I think they're actually coming out with another colorway. Um, in collaboration to the Nike Airship, Monier had the, the Royal Blues, and I think they actually dropped another pair of Airships in the black and white um, version of the shoe. But uh, getting back into this shoe, moving down, you have that midsole that is a cream sail colorway. So you can see the difference in the hues of um, the suede to midsole color. So the suede on the shoe is not a cream color, like I was saying. It's much more um, like an off-white to grayish color. Getting back into the midsole, one thing I like about the Nike Airships is the midsole is it's pretty much identical to the High 85 Jordan 1s. And I love the High 85s. One of my favorite, if not the favorite Jordan um, silhouette. Take a quick look at the toe box, nice shape. I really love the retro design of the Nike Airship. Very clean and classic uh, look to the shoe. Last but not least, you have your household. It's in that um, dark doom red. It also has that oxidation look to it, like the Lost and Founds. Very nice touch to it. Getting back to what I was saying earlier about the comfort of the shoe. Very comfortable shoe. As you can see on this four foot strap, it's actually detached from the side um, eyelet section and also has like this little bungee cord in it and that makes for the um, four foot strap to flex very easily wraps around your foot and um, gives it more space to flex and maneuver as you walk I remember when I first undiest um, my orange pair of um, Nike Airships I was blown away from the comfort feel of the shoe. And I actually doubled up on that orange pair after wearing it for a day. And being wild by the comfort and feel of the shoe, I went in and doubled up on the shoe. So, And I'm not sure right now if I want to double up on these. Um, like I was saying earlier, I'm seeing prices $110. So well under um, retail, $140. So, so it's hard not to double up, but I do want a pair of the, uh, the Fusion Blue. So I'm not sure if I want to hold out for those, um, the other pair, or just go ahead and double up on these, because I do think this is the better um, of the two. I actually like the reverse um, look of this shoe versus the blue one. And again, that one, the side panels, the mud guards, is mostly like that cracked leather, and it, and it has that hairy suede up top. But I like this reverse design better, um, having a short hair, uh, new well sleeve on the side panels and toe area of the shoe. But yeah, very dope shoe. Let's go ahead and take a look at my other shoe. Get you guys out of here. Here's a look at my left shoe. Give you a quick 360 of this one. And you got quality uh, down on the shoe. I didn't see any flaws on this one. 
no flaws on the shoe. Um, can't beat the 140 price point on the shoe. And it does come with extra set of laces, which are um, sell match the midsole. Perfect. For now, I think I'll leave the red laces to come pre-laced in the shoe. But um, I don't think you can go wrong to sell laces either. Contrast with the midsole well. And it does come with this Nike disclaimer tag um, that reads, natural crack seen on the upper is normal due to the random crackle ink application. So basically it's just letting you know that um, the cracked leather up top is um, purposely um, manufactured that way. Um, yeah, that's a dope pair, man. It's doing red. Really love the colorway. It's not a varsity red. It's almost like a brick red, um, like Adobe. And these are pretty close to the Adobe SB Dunks, that brick colorway on it. I really do like these um, airships. Look at the inside of the shoe. It does come with your paper shoe tree. It also has a white insole with your Dune Red uh, Jumpman. Another detail I like on the um, airships, it does have your size um, stamped inside the ankle collar area. I think that's a dope touch. Very similar to the uh, high 85s. Really love that. Yeah, guys, how y'all feeling about these airships? You like the Dome Red or you like the, um, the Fusion Blue pair? For me, I'm going with these Dome Red, man. These, these fire in my opinion, man. And they also just dropped another colorway of the um, airships. It's called uh, Tech Gray and Smoke or something like that. Uh, those are nice also. With that colorway, they went back to your traditional um, leather side panels. But it does have that real um, hairy new bug suede around the ankle collars like the blue pair. Um, but that is a nice pair also. Thought about picking those up, but again, I might just have to double up on this shoe since it's going way under um, retail. Um, but I like this pair. But that's what I have for you today, guys. Again, stay tuned to the channel. Also, uh, remember to go check out the Jordan 4 SB Pine Greens. Got that video up. Um, if it's not up already, it should be up shortly after this one. Um, stay tuned to the channel. I do have more shoes coming in. And I always I appreciate y'all for coming through for a quick look at this Air Jordan Airship Doom Red. Until the next time, peace.